Hello again. A few years ago, it was revealed that the murder capital of England, that is to say the town in the country which had the highest rate of murders, was the once sleepy little backwater of Boston in Lincolnshire. At one time, Boston was famous only for the church tower, known locally as the Stump, but now it was making headlines for having 15 murders per 100,000 people, a higher rate than even London or Manchester. Hackney's a pretty rough area, and they do see quite a few um, deaths there, but they only rated about five murders per 100,000 people at that time. So Boston had a murder rate three times that of the inner London borough of Hackney. In the description to this video, I give a link to a news item about this. Coincidentally, or perhaps not, Boston was also the place in the country with the highest increase in the number of foreign-born residents. Between 2001 and 2011, the number of foreign-born residents in Boston increased by almost 500%. These people were, in the main, from Eastern Europe. Of course, Boston has been in the news lately again, with the stabbing to death of a nine-year-old girl. Most of us guessed that this would be connected with Eastern Europeans, and surely enough, the child's name was Lilia Valutite. Stabbing a child of that age to death is very, very unusual, and it was a fair bet that foreigners would be involved rather than people born in this country, simply from the nature of the murder. The fact is that Boston is not the place it once was. I remember it from 30 years ago. My wife is from Grimsby and we used to visit Boston and Louth to see relatives of hers. These days, the atmosphere of Boston is very different there are large numbers of young foreign men hanging around. They create a feeling of unease and I'm afraid that many of the crimes committed locally are brought home to these people. They behave differently from most of the long-term residents of the town. Looking at the local magistrates court for motoring offences, for instance, this week, we find the names Egijas Kovas, Ionet Kapitana, Vasil Todorov, Rachim Omarze, Bryce Nagutichuosi, and Kaleo Atanasov. Then too, we have Vaughan Dent and Ryan Motley. In other words, foreigners outnumber English people three to one when it comes to driving offences in the town. I give a link to this as well in the description to this video. Let's look at a few crimes in Boston last year. We have the disappearance of a woman called Ilona Golubek, in connection with which a man called Kamil Razanek was charged. We have the organised ring of car thieves who stole expensive vehicles and then shipped them off abroad. These were Valdaz Baraginas, Juazaz Paluskas, Edgaras Balchinas, Gintulas Kanviakas, Jonas Stepanovicia, Oleg Sukarov, and just as Obanovishkas. Incidentally, I've come up with these cases just by googling random things like theft, Boston, and driving offences, Boston. I haven't specifically been hunting out foreign criminals. Earlier this month, a man called Georgo Kimbala appeared in Boston Magistrates Court, charged with attacking and robbing an 84-year-old man. I could go on endlessly with such cases, but I think that the point has been made. The huge increase in number of foreigners living in this Lincolnshire town has coincided with a sharp rise, not only in murders, but every other type of crime. Local people have seen their quiet town change out of all recognition, and many feel bitter about it. We often look at the effects of immigration on larger cities like London, but sometimes forget that rural districts too 
are at the forefront of the greatest wave of immigration ever seen in this country. I am sometimes accused of demonising immigrants, but when a formerly quiet rural town like Boston becomes the murder capital of England after the number of foreign-born residents increased fivefold, I think it reasonable to ask whether the one thing is connected with the other. Does anybody watching this video seriously wish to assert that Boston would have had the highest murder rate in the country had it not suddenly seen a dramatic rise in the number of foreigners living there? Is this really something which we should not discuss?